Take Heart, Daily Devotions to Deepen Your Faith. January 30th. You desire and do not have, so you murder. You covet and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. You do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. James chapter 4 verses 2 and 3. Anger goes bad because of a demand, a simple desire, and the simple pain that comes when we do not get what we want becomes magnified into something I must have. The wrong in my life is often not what I want, but that I want that but that I want it too much. My desire becomes my need. I must be loved. I demand your respect. I need you to treat me the way I want. I command that you cut me slack. I insist that you be understanding. I demand that you be affectionate. What I want is right. Therefore, I am right to be angry at you. Even if what you want is a good thing. For example, your boyfriend to come on time and to have the thoughtfulness to phone if he's delayed. You want it so much that it devours you. Simple desires mutate into demands that must be met or else. There's something high and mighty about anger. When distilled to its basic elements, anger goes wrong when you get godlike. When anger goes right, there's always something higher. Some higher purpose or person who puts a cap on anger, who sets a limit on bitterness, who gives reasons not to whine and complain. The Most High God, His higher law, His loving mercies, and His higher purposes transform anger. Something miraculous happens when I no longer say, My kingdom come, my will be done on earth. My motives no longer operate in the God usurping mode. The mercy that humbles us begins to master us and my universe returns to reality.